First of all, uh, um, I think we are now uh, at the phase where uh, we, go we have to go from policy to actions. I want to start from this uh, message that Ministry Galetti sent just today of how we are really going to implement things. Um, in about 24 hours or maybe 48 hours, uh, our uh, life will change. I mean, and uh, everybody has to take commitments. And uh, the question is, are we ready? Are we ready? Are regions ready? Uh, we have enough uh, legislation instruments, enough uh, resources uh, to take this uh, compelling challenge. That's, I think, the main question we are going to address. And, uh, well, I think there are some positive, um, how, however, uh, actions and best practices in the, in the regions. Um, uh, first of all, uh, uh, one dimension that um, we are tackling as a region is that the global warming problem is not only an energy problem. It's a, it's a problem that span all over our lives, going from how we use uh, food, for example, how we, you, we travel, how we uh, really make tourism, or we uh, are going to use water or other resources. So that uh, is a really integrated problem, and the regions are, uh, have to face this complex uh, problem uh, addressing different levels of, of, of actions. Even, for example, uh, understanding the role of natural resources, about 50% of global greenhouse gas emissions are reabsorbed by forests and oceans. And uh, the value of the natural capital is another dimension that uh, we should include in our programming of um, land activities. So uh, we are uh, facing this important challenge that includes also technology, uh, technology transfer, intelligent uh, grids, um, distribution of energy uh, in a very diffuse way and uh, boosting up uh, startup industries, uh, innovation industries, uh, and to some extent redistributing the income to a larger number of different actors, not only big companies but also technicians, small enterprises, and that is uh, really also a big challenge we have uh, all of us. What we do, uh, what we're going to do, uh, first of all, uh, the region Lazio is um, approving now a, um, a law that uh, includes uh, the natural capital value as uh, one of the measures of uh, our economic wealth. That is, will be the first uh, region and maybe one of the first regions in the world to establish this uh, uh, natural capital committee that every year will uh, uh, evaluate the economic value of natural capital. And that's important because give us uh, the importance uh, of um, natural protection uh, as well as to uh, compare the value of the nature with the other classical uh, GDP type of analysis. The second point uh, of region Lazio is that we are going to uh, now approve the uh, energy plan for the future, the region energy plan. And uh, in our plan, we, as like Sardinia, we are try to be ambitious uh, in a way we are going to use renewable energies. Uh, we will go from uh, about 12% of uh, renewable energy use that is assigned by burden sharing at the national level to level 20%, increasing uh, uh, the level of energy, uh, renewable energy uh, use, as well as uh, bringing 24% the uh, energy efficiency in our, in our region. Um, so we uh, hope also to uh, reach the target 40% of emission reductions uh, as, a, as a European strategy. Um, the other point that we also uh, are very much uh, um, insisting is on developing green economy. I mean, the, the global warming problem is not just, uh, um, a, of course, a, a problem of our, of our future and survival, but also a way to stimulate economy, particularly green economy. And uh, our region has uh, quite uh, interesting uh, numbers in green economy. Uh, it's one of the mm, regions with the highest uh, rate of uh, innovation. We have about 30,000 30, companies that are uh, green companies, working in a green economy, and about uh, 9,000 uh, workers that are employed in the green economy. So that's quite important uh, numbers. Of course, our region is a, what's a region of the, the second GDP, in Italy, so it's quite, the economy is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is moving up quite, uh, quite fast, but uh, the, the ratio of green economy to normal economy is increasing very much, and we plan to increase uh, by 20% the number of uh, jobs in this uh, sector uh, in the next uh, two years. Uh, 
Um, okay, financing, that was uh, Carlo Carrado presenting this problem. Uh, but we have the uh, European funding uh, strategy that is quite uh, well uh, established. Uh, we, we have in our, in our um, uh, European funding for, for, for the poor fares, so we have uh, 200, million, 200 million euros uh, dedicated to energy and efficiency. Uh, and we are going to, uh, to invest about uh, 780 million in the rural development um, funds that also has implications in agriculture for sustainable agriculture. Okay, I want to finish with some other initiative, planning uh, also to, to invest on the communities and measures. The, the Pact of Measures uh, is an important instrument uh, and we are going to uh, to provide uh, some funding to, uh, to increase the network. All, unfortunately, only 61 of our communities are, are uh, networked in the packs of, uh, packs of, of measures, and uh, we plan to reach uh, the dub doubling in the next two years uh, in order to, to, to make this instrument more efficient, as well as we have uh, measures for uh, green uh, mobility and the transfers. Uh, uh, we are going to invest uh, uh, also for um, um, subsidizing uh, uh, bicycles, for, uh, particularly for urban citizens, about 80% uh, of uh, uh, money will be given to buy bicycles for mobility. And so that's our, some, uh, let's say, practices that we want to include. Finally, I think uh, the suggestion <laughs> of uh, the, the previous speaker from, from the Basque BC3 Center was very stimulating, uh, uh, there is really a need of a network of regions, at least in Europe, uh, to work together. Because uh, I think it's right, Minister, uh, the nation can do something, but the regions has to also take responsibility on working together and uh, kind of a compact type of uh, instrument with some targets, with some uh, at least best practice of change uh, could be very uh, useful between regions. And that's, I think, Regional Labs is very very interested to, to join this uh, in this idea.